Joining me now, MSNBC political analyst Mehdi Hassan, host of Peacock's Mehdi Hassan Show, and NBC national security analyst Clint Watts, a former FBI special agent, senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, and a West Point grad, uh, knows a lot about the military and what it is allowed and not allowed to do. Mehdi Hassan, just to be clear, uh, this is still procedural, this thing that they're going to try in the House. It has pretty much no chance of passing because what would have to happen is someone would have to object to the electors and then the, the House and the Senate would split yeah. up and they'd all have to debate it. And then the, the, the motion would have to pass both houses, uh, which is not likely to happen. However, the Trump administration has clearly been thinking beyond that, as we heard from Michael uh, Flynn uh, and others. They're talking about the military. They're talking about bringing in the military to uh, seize voting machines and, and somehow force new elections in four states. That, that's not legal, but it's, it's not democratic. It's, it's not normal. It, it's, it's very much like a coup, actually. Yeah, I mean, I struggle with this, Ali, as I'm sure you have. You know, at the beginning after the election, I didn't use the word coup because I thought maybe that's a little too extreme. But at this point, you know, end of December, after the Electoral College, I don't know what other word to use. And you're right, they don't have the votes for this nonsensical procedural objection. And that's part of the paradox of this entire, how to cover this entire Trump coup, uh, as it were. Because on the one hand, they're not going to overturn the election result. They're not going to succeed in Congress, just as they didn't succeed in the Electoral College. They didn't succeed at the Supreme Court. They didn't succeed at state Supreme Court levels. They didn't succeed with the state legislatures. They didn't succeed with the audits. They didn't succeed with the recounts. We know they failed at every turn. And so we get complacent. Yep. But I don't think their failures should allow us to ignore the fact that this is unprecedented. It, has, it is, as you say, abnormal. It is a complete threat to democracy. The fact that the military this time are not on board with them shouldn't worry us. Shouldn't, shouldn't be the case that we don't be worried that Michael Flynn, a former general, is telling the president in the Oval Office on a Friday night, let's talk about martial law. Come on, this should be an uh, alarm bell for all of us who care about the future of democracy yeah. in this country. The fact that they fail this time doesn't mean they won't come back again in 2024 or 2028. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.